everyone, my name is Melissa Armo and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. Welcome to tonight's show. I am going to be discussing a gap that's happening live right now. As you see it, this is FNSR. Let's take a look. Actually, let's pull this up here. So as you can see, okay, let's go back. Now, for those of you that don't know what a gap is, I'm trying to click this here. For those of you that don't know what a gap is, I'm going to review this right now. I trained only gaps. In fact, I prefer to short. I prefer to short bearish gaps. Okay. There are bullish gaps. I do teach a class in bullish gaps. I do occasionally go long in bullish gaps. However, I prefer to short. And what's the reason I prefer to short? Well, here's a great example. <laughs> uh, the stock in here in this closed. Actually, let me get the exact close price. 14.91. No, 14.90. Okay. So this this is FNSR. It closed at 14.90 tonight. It's at 13.10. Now. I'm waiting till tomorrow, the live day, to do the gap. However, what I'm saying is, and the point I'm trying to make, is that when selling comes into a stock, it will just take over. It's the momentum that takes over the stock. It's panic, okay? So this is one of the reasons I prefer to short. Now, let's get back to the gap. For tonight, I'm watching FNSR. This is live. It actually has the earnings that reported after the close, after four o'clock Eastern time, I teach a class on how to rate gaps. So I rated this gap. Sometimes I do it at night, sometimes I do it in the morning. I actually prefer to do it in the morning, but I've had such a busy schedule right now that I decided to do this tonight. And I will be having a live show where I do it at night. However, if you want to get the entry and the train and see if they work on the live day, you have to be in the live trading room with me, which I run every day from 11.30, from 8.30 to 11 a.m. Eastern time. Now, Let's go back to the gap tonight. I rated this. It rates good. It rates 22 points. This is a good gap. Now, what am I going to do with this tomorrow? Like everything else that happens in the market, you actually have to look at it, look at the gap, rate the gap, but then you still have to wait for the open. The stock still has to open at 930 and set up. If it didn't have to set up, I wouldn't even remotely do anything with this, but just short it right here. But the thing is, you can't just do that. You can't just go in stuff willy nilly because sometimes something will gap down and then reverse. So you have to actually have the trade set up. And as an individual trader, you need that. Why? It defines the risk. It's called calculated risk, okay? Calculated risk means you're defining the risk and you're taking the trade and you're putting in a stop. And then if the trade fails, you're losing a certain amount. Or you also have things you're looking for in the setup. In other words, if it doesn't set up, then you're never even taking it. And sometimes I like a gap. And then the market opens at 930 and it doesn't even set up. And then I don't take it. I don't make any money. I don't lose any money. Okay, that's the beauty of knowing exactly what to look for. Now, I will tell you right now this looks good. However, that being said, the target that I figured out for this, like if tomorrow was, if we were, if it was like 925, which it's not, the target on this is 12 right here. I have a feeling though, let's just look at this here. Let me just pull up this whole thing. So, I re look at this, it's a 1281 now. I have no idea where this is going to open tomorrow morning. It's 521. This is a long time away from 9, 9.30 in the morning. Long time. So, I mean, like, this could actually be at $12 tomorrow morning, which is the target. And then there would be a different target which should be 11.50, 11.25. Originally, I had 11.25 as just the dream target if it's open here at 13. This stock can move in the day, though. This, this can get a dollar, dollar fifty. Let's just look at the biggest bar on this chart. Whoa, actually, it's a pretty big bar here. Yeah, 
two dollars so let's stick with the 12 11 dream target except for the fact that I have no idea where this opens tomorrow morning because that's so far away from now but I will tell you in an ideal world this must hold 14 I don't see any chance of it not holding 14 but I don't know where it opens tomorrow morning the point I'm trying to make is this is a nice bearish gap in other words this is a short this is a good short okay in order to take the short you have to have the right setup I teach this in the golden gap class I also teach the rating system in the golden gap class this rates well tonight though it's 22 points even if I rate a gap at night I double triple check it in the morning to make sure that it's correct this will trade out tomorrow have plenty of volume follow through and do what it needs to do I just don't know how it opens in the morning and actually how it trades in the first five minutes of the day and I'll talk very quickly about that the first five minutes of the day are extremely important in a stock that's gapping actually or even the market I read the first five minutes of the day very well and I can tell if something's gonna work and follow through to the upside or the downside based on the first five minutes of trading it tells me and gives me the confirmation of the gap okay and in reference to the market the market gaps almost every day almost every day the market gaps so that's why I'm able to call the market looking at the first five minutes of the day because it gaps almost every day and by the market I mean the indexes which is the QQQs in the spy so FNSR has earnings tonight stocks gap for many reasons in reference to this it is the reason for the earnings that it is gapping I like the gap I don't know where it opens in an ideal world FNSR stays around this area possibly rallies even tomorrow morning holds and then drops and breaks quickly into the morning and goes to $12 if it breaks and falls and keeps falling off a cliff into the pre-market tomorrow before the open you will have to be very very careful and make sure that it does not reverse swoosh because in this market which by the way is still very bullish you cannot short reverse swooshes this is the stock swoosh show this is melissa armo good luck tomorrow everyone in fnsr it's a good gap to the downside and a nice short you've got another resistance the support the targets and everything else to do it how would you learn how to do that in my golden gap class which i teach the next class is september 19th and 20th have a great night, everyone, and have a wonderful weekend.